Hi, I'm Jolene Purdy from Teen Mix Gigantic, and you're watching Clever TV. Hey guys, welcome back to the Clever TV Lounge. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward. What's up? And today we are so excited to have with us one of the stars of the newest, hottest show on Nickelodeon, Gigantic. It's Jolene Purdy who plays Piper. And What's I'm so that? excited that the show is on. The I show know, is. I know. <laughs> We've been talking too. about the show for like a million years. <laughs> I watched really it. A million years, but a while. How has it been waiting? Um, it's been it's been kind of like off and on. So we've been like, oh guys, let's get together, let's watch it. Oh, just kidding, let's just have sushi instead because we'll wait a couple months. <laughs> That's fun too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us kind of for people who haven't had a chance to tune into the show yet, which you should be doing, about the premise because I think it's so interesting. It's crazy. There's so much going on, you know, kind of similar to Degrassi where there are all these different things that are Plot going on. Lines yeah, and stuff. but mostly it's celebrity A-listers kids and their battle with the media whether they want to be in it or out of it or whether they even have a choice. And, you know, it's regular teenage issues that you're going through boys, uh, fitting in, fashion, just everything, but everything is so gigantic because the media is always right on you. Right. And how does Piper fit into all of this? She loves the glitz and the glamour. Ah, she yes. just, you know, she always has uh, fancy hair, makeup, everything. She drives some cool cars. <gasps> In the first episode, that was like the most exciting thing. Really? The car that I got to drive. What did you get to drive? It was a Lamborghini. No way. way. Did yeah. you like, sign away your life before yeah. you get behind the wheel? No, if I, I, had, this. Yeah. I had no idea that I was going to be doing it. I thought that they would have like a stunt person, which for part of it they kind of did. But I got to like drive it two feet and I was like, oh, I'm driving a car. That a is really so cool car. exciting. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So your wardrobe must be better than everyone else's. Your hair and makeup, that must just be really fun for you. I I was in hair and makeup more than anyone else, that's for sure. Um, my my wardrobe, you know, Piper's still kind of figuring out who she is, what she does, and so you'll see some fantastically fuchsia leggings and... Ooh. and See, that's kind of fun, though, because you are creating ridiculous. a character. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Stuff Poofs you probably and never wear in your normal life. I mean, yeah, and if you do, that's never. totally fine, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I like black. I like, you know, mute tones. Yeah, exactly. Now tell me if I'm wrong, but is Piper more on like the media side or are her parents celebrities as well? I know that that's kind of how the show is playing out. Her dad is this mega action star, you know, kind of like Hugh Jackman, like Wolverine, kind of. Not too and shabby. Yeah. yeah not, and is Hugh Jackman playing your dad? That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dad's played by Greg Ellis, who is awesome. awesome. Yeah. And um, he's this mega star, and I'm adopted, and my brother Finn is also adopted, played by Malcolm David Kelly. And, you know, I, I use the media. I enjoy the attention. And a lot of the people on the show, too, you know, some of them actually come from backgrounds where their parents are famous, and they're playing these characters, which I'm sure they identify with. What's it like working with a cast that has you know, family in the business, so they really have a different perspective, kind of, on everything? I have... I had no idea like who anyone was because I mean, two years ago I wanted to be a teacher. Like I am coming into wow, this and wild. I don't read tabloids and I don't know anything <laughs> really about <laughs> it's stuff great like that. Though. Yeah, it's refreshing. To yeah, hear. but I had no idea who anyone was and it was just fun and played around and. I don't know. Wow. So you have this singing background as well. Yes. Did we ever get to see any of this on the show, Gigantic? No. Oh. I know. My, my character is still finding out who she is. She's uh -huh. dabbling with, you know, does she want to be a makeup artist? Does she want to have a fashion line? Does she want to have a perfume? I don't know. So Anything is possible in the world of television. Yes. It's definitely possible. Now, I know Love a lot it. of shows on Nickelodeon are actually, you know, doing, well, iCarly and Victoria's did this crossover event, which will have singing. Right. You guys should totally do something like that. That would be fun. This next episode that's airing, um, Tony Aller has a little debut Well, he sings song. too. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I would see, I would, <laughs> I would go up to their trailers in between, you know, and I'd hear him singing. He had his whole little setup in his trailer and he'd be like creating new songs with Malcolm and they'd be rapping and we just had so much fun. Wow. <laughs> what would you say is like the highlight so far for you working on this show? Um... Uh, I loved the locations that we got to shoot at. 
Ooh, they were where? insane all over Hollywood. Uh -huh. But um, Malibu, on my birthday, we shot in Malibu on the beach in this insane mansion. Ah. And it, I mean, happy birthday. It was fun. Exactly. <laughs> Thankfully, it landed on your birthday. Yeah. Or maybe they just planned it for your special day. I got to see the sunrise and the sunset in a working day on the beach. Oh, that's so amazing. Yeah. Especially when you said like two years ago, you thought you wanted to be a teacher. And yeah. I mean, do you ever have a moment where you just pinch yourself? Uh, almost every day. Yeah. When I'm like, people ask me, oh, so what do you do? I'm like, I'm, um, I. I guess I'm an actor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so awesome. I love that. Yeah. That's neat. All right, so you shoot on location a lot. Do you ever go to like LA hotspots that we as locals call hotspots, like entourage style? Um, I go to the Grove. I'm kind of like kickback. I don't really do like the clubs or the anything. We went to Beso for a gigantic party. Oh, that's this fun. Is, you know, Eva Longoria's restaurant. That's a really, really the good restaurant. The there was so good. Yeah, yes. the bread. Yes. Amazing. Try it. It's really, really good. And the guacamole. Mm -hmm. so guacamole. Good. Yeah. Before we get on a tangent on oh, food, sorry. though, no, yeah. which I could easily do forever. Yes, um, you, you talked about the party. Do you guys like hang out as a cast outside of work? And how's that relationship? This is the first cast that I've been like so connected with, you know what I mean? Usually like you work together, you you have fun and, and then you, you know, go home yeah, to real life. work and but I actually Gia and I hang out all the time. Really? Um, we like sushi, I love miso soup. Oh we're talking about food again. Sorry. Exactly. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we that's hang the most out. social thing to yeah. do. Yeah. Exactly. And Malcolm who plays my brother, we carpooled to work because we live close to each other and it's fun. It's better to have someone in the car, you know, battling traffic, carpool lane. Right. Always, yes. I wish. It's smart, yeah. it's smart. So what can we expect this upcoming, or the current season, really, of Gigantic? Oh, there's going to be some celebrity cameos. There's going to be a ton. I, we're going to have a lot of fancy cars. The location, the shots are gorgeous, but it's the drama that's, that's gonna take off, I think. This is just the beginning. Like, we've only touched on it. There's so much. I can't even say there's a lot. I'm intrigued. Mm. I don't know. Mm. So if you guys at home watching are as fascinated by drama, which I'm guessing that you probably are, as we are, <laughs> you definitely want to make sure to set those TiVos. Gigantic airs on Nick. What time and Team what Nickelodeon day? on Fridays at 9.30 Eastern time. Friday night. All right. And yeah. let us know what you think of the show right here. Thank you so much for stopping by, Jolene. Thanks for really having me. It was very fun. <laughs> quite fun, quite fun. And until later, you guys stick with us here at Clever TV, and we'll keep you posted on all your favorite shows. Bye, guys. See ya.